I've removed the fuel tank to clean out the inside, as shown in the earlier video, how dirty the, the interior was. Now that I have it out and in the open, take a look at this fuel bowl that was put on the tractor. Doesn't look too dirty inside, but it's obviously not for this tractor, of course, but it's made by the Durex company in Dayton, Ohio. So, do you know anything about the Durex company in Dayton, Ohio? Let me know. So, we'll go down to the uh, petrol for starting only tank, since this is a English tank. They had a pipe plug in here. And let's see. Yeah, that's block solid. So, we'll go down to where the fuel bowl was at. I've already pre-loosened this. Oh, well, that's nice. Do you think any fuel was going through there? I don't think so. So, this will be the next project, get this tank clean. tank to start cleaning it out and now it's time to dismantle the top half of the air wash assembly and I've already taken out the bolts for the top cover and taken out the bolts for the elbow and what I have found is in both cases of a previous dismantle of one of these top ends the bolt facing the motor is broken off so I've had that happen to me twice before on the same exact location. So that will be a repair. And if you remember from our preliminary checks, little Fuzzy was living in the air washer. So let's take the uh, top half off and see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Well, it's time for a break. I gotta get the shop back. Somewhere in there should be a brass float. What a mess.
Our 1924 Fordson has a leather fan belt and it has seen better days. You can see how badly worn the leather is, a lot of cracking on the surface of it. But the back side of it where it runs along the fan pulley is still relatively smooth. So we're going to see if we can preserve this fan belt and use a product called BIC LP, uh, BIC More heavy duty leather preservative. This product is a paste and it is formulated for uh, heavy duty leather protection and to rejuvenate it. So all you do is rub this product onto the leather and it's supposed to help soften it and rejuvenate it. So we'll see if we can salvage this fan belt by using the Bic LP leather preservative. The directions on the can just say to apply it by hand, so this might be a mistake that it causes the belt to slip, but if it does, we'll just order a new one, but all we're trying to do is preserve what we have. While we're working in this fan area, we're going to take the time to pack the fan hub with grease. Someone has replaced the brass filler plug with a Zerk grease fitting. So we'll top this fan hub off with some hard grease and make sure that it is good to go. And if you notice, we'll switch over to the 1926 Fordson. And this is the style of plug that should be in the fan hub. It's just a brass threaded plug that goes into the fan hub. And a couple different versions of instruction one manual said to top this hub off with a heavy gear oil, and I did that with uh, some 600W from the rear end of the tractor. However, uh, it tends to seep out over time. So I ended up uh, packing this hub with grease, and that's what we're gonna do on the 1924 and see how it works.